Hey everyone, welcome back to another web hosting video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to fix file and folder permission issues on your LightCell WordPress install. If you manage a WordPress site using the Bitnami Blueprint in LightCell, you may run into permission issues from time to time. These errors are mostly in two scenarios. The first scenario is if you're trying to update a file using SFTP or SSH, you get a permission denied error when you're trying to do that, and that prevents you from modifying files or uploading new files inside the WordPress installation folder. The second scenario is if you have a WordPress plugin or a WordPress theme, and that file or you know that plugin or theme needs to access a folder to write or update files, it is getting a permission denied error. In both of these cases, most of the time, the pr problem comes down to permission issues. There could be other reasons too, but in my experience, I've seen that it, it's most of the time it's a permission issue. Uh, so Bitnami sets up two users and corresponding groups when you set up a LightCell instance using the Bitnami Blueprint. Uh, the first user is the Bitnami user, which is what we all use to log into the server using SSH or SFTP. Then the, there is a second user called the daemon or daemon user. This user is what the Apache web server uses to run your website. Um, so how do permissions actually get messed up? The first case I can think of, and of course there could be many different reasons uh, that could happen, but the first case I can think of is when you try to uh, go into the WP admin, you update plugins, you update themes, or even WordPress using the functions available in the admin. Uh, when it does that, then Apache is making a lot of changes to your files and folders. And when it's doing that, it's going to uh, set those uh, the ownership and permissions for those files and folders that it updates to the daemon user and group. Uh, on the other hand, when you go and log in to the server using SSH or if you're SFTP, then you're updating files and you're modifying files uh, or creating new files and folders as your Bitnami user. And so the system will give those files and folders ownership to your user, which is what the website uh, will not be running as. So when you have this conflict, you will normally get a permission denied error. Now, there are easy steps to fix this issue, and I will walk you through those here in this video tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. we need to fix the file and folder permissions is through the SSH console. So the first thing that you'll need to do is SSH into your server. If you already have an SSH client set up and installed, fire that up and log into your server using SSH. Uh, alternatively, you can use the web-based SSH uh, tool that's provided by LightCell. So you can log into your LightCell dashboard and um, head on over to your Bitnami-based WordPress install, and then just click on this icon right here, and that opens the web-based SSH window. Again, if you have um, a locally installed setup already, then use that. Uh, just one more reminder, this solution is only for the Bitnami-based WordPress install. If you have a WordPress install on cPanel or Plex or in any other method, then this is not the way to fix file and folder permissions. Uh, what I'm going to do is SSH using the Bitvise SSH client. So I'll fire that up, type in the IP address and log in. Okay. All right, and the first command that we will run is to set the owner and group of your WordPress installation folder. So the command to run is, I will just copy and paste it right here. And of course, all of these commands will be available 
on the accompanying post on my website, webhostingforbeginners.net. So head on over there as you're following this tutorial. You can copy those commands and paste it directly into your window as well. So what we're doing here is we're uh, elevating this command to sudo using the sudo command. Uh, so it's a super user privileges. Uh, we're doing a ch own or chone. So we're changing the owner. We're gonna do this recursively. So this dash R means recursively. And then the user is Bitnami and the group is daemon or daemon. And then this is the path to the WordPress installation folder on the Bitnami image. So once you type all that in, just hit enter. And that should run really quick. The next thing we're going to do is set the right permissions for folders. So we'll run this command. Again, I'm just copying and pasting it. Fix that. So this command is basically the Linux find command. Again, we're running this command using super user privileges. We're going to find all the directories or all the folders, and then we're going to modify the permissions to be 775. So just run this command. And it should take a couple of seconds, but it should finish back successfully. The next thing we need to do is make all the WordPress files, all the files that are inside the WordPress installation folder, give them read and write permissions for the owner and the group. Uh, and the owner again is Bitnami and the group is daemon or daemon. So copy and paste this command. And as you'll see here, again, it's the find command elevated to be super user. We're going to find inside the WordPress folder, we're going to find all the files and then we're going to execute this command, which is a chmod or shmod. 664 is the permissions that we need to set and then hit enter and that'll take a few seconds to complete that it may depend on how many plugin files you have how many theme files you have but it should return back pretty quick so once you've done this this basically resets all the files and folder permissions just as if you have installed a brand new version of WordPress using the Bitnami blueprint. Now, if you going forward, if you want to create new folders and new files using SSH or SFTP, you can go ahead and do that. But just remember to come back here and run those commands to reset all the files and folder permissions back to what Bitnami expects them to be. Also, on the other hand, if you do go into the WP admin and you uh, update files or update plugins, update themes it will also reset these permissions or it will also change those permissions. So come back into this uh, SSH window and reset the files and folder permissions or those commands that I just showed you. Just do that every time and you should be fine. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with others if you think they will find it useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't so that you get notified when I post video tutorials like this. Um, if you run into any issues or questions, just put those down in the comments below. If you have better ways to tackle this problem of fixing files and folder permissions on your Bitnami WordPress install, please put those down there in the comments below. I may find that useful and maybe others who are watching this video. So if you have a better way to do this or if you have a different fixes for it, put those down in the comments below. Uh, be sure to check out all my other videos that I have on WordPress tips and tricks, light cell hosting, uh, cPanel setup, Plex setup, as well as how to use other AWS services along with light cell for managing your WordPress website. So until the next video, you all take care. Mm -hmm.